Okay. So we're going to look at a situation where he's already got my leg. And what do I do? And what are my priorities? For one thing, if he's already starting to try to bring me around, i got to hop and keep my balance, but keep my foot away from him. Because he has follow-ups, yeah, where if he draws my leg toward him, I can't let him do that. So what I'm going to do, though, his head is sort of blocking me out, so i got to move it out of my way. I push it in and feed it to the other hand as I bring my foot to the outside. This is a better position for me. Okay? And when I'm doing that, I'm going to string my wizard through and put my palm on my thigh. So I've got some good torque here. But I also, he turns my body to where he's trying to unbalance me. So I've got, I've got an, extra, an extra leg when I use it when I need it in this arm. I can put it on the mat. So I become, you know, a better balance when I turn like this. All right? And this is putting pressure on his shoulder too. And it's also helping to keep him away. Now this hand has to move around. It posts on his head to keep his head away. Yeah. It posts on the ground if I'm really in trouble. Okay? And then it's going to reach under his wrist. And I'm going to pull up on it as I shoot my leg down. What I want to do is I want to achieve a straight line from my shoulder all the way through my hip down to my leg. Down through my leg. So as long as the side of me that he's attacking is straight, he can't get any part of it to bend toward him. He can't control me. Yeah, this makes me much harder to lift or to try to, to hold on to the take down. So from here again, he's in. This is good for him. Yeah. This is good for him, and this is even better for me. I never want this. Now my leg is free to go up to the sky. Yeah, oh, yeah. He can really dump me. So at least here I can put pressure and get my knee down and keep him from lifting me too high. All right? I'm going to force his head out as I wizard and put my foot to the outside. Okay, this is where I want to be. And you can play with this a little bit and feel stable. He brings me around, moves me. Yeah. And I feel pretty good here as long as my leg is out of his reach. And then I reach for this wrist, and I pull up as I shoot my leg down, breaking his grip, but establishing that straight line. And you assert that line, because he's still going to try to use this underhook or whatever. And I assert that line. Get that side away from him, hang this overhook. Now you notice my wizard goes up to my chest. All right, so he can't sink level and go for my hip or my leg. And I'm trying to control yeah, this arm as well, this wrist. So this is a really good skill for the women's fight class because it's about hips, it's about you know keeping level, it's about balance, and it's about thinking a step ahead to what he might try to do to under, undermine my base. If you get good at this against someone else who knows how to wrestle, you're infinitely harder to take down by someone who who may not even know how to wrestle, but they may be bigger than you. But you see what I'm doing here is I'm using good wrestling leverage to defeat strength. So that means somebody even much bigger and stronger, they can't get to you, they can't get a hold of you, they can't tilt you and trip you or lift you. Okay. So one of the things too you'll notice is I'm keeping my hips at a safe distance from him. If he can get close to me, just by virtue of being bigger, he can lift me. But you can be sort of like the baby that doesn't want to be picked up. They just like, you know, they sink their hips away. But in this way, you got some other things also working for you. So one more time, he's got my leg up in the air, which is bad. Don't let your foot go here. Bring it to here as you've posted his head, feed it through, and then wizard. Those three things happen at the same time, basically. All right. Then it's pull up, shoot it down. Okay, and we're here. Now what I would like to do from here is back my hips away, and then front headlock, and snap them down. Okay. To, with this front headlock. This is another new move for, I think, for the women's class, is the head and arm trapped in this front headlock. The arm that's trapped is the side I'm going to go to. So I can, there's several ways to do it. There's a quick way, which is just, just, just to go. All right? Or I can have my head in his armpit, and I can circle. I'm already grabbing his elbow. What I did is I pulled it away. There's a V in my wrist. I pulled it away, and then fed this elbow to my hand. I'm off my knee. I'm up here. My head is in his armpit. Okay? I'm keeping him from raising his arm up. Alright, and I can also grab his leg when they come around. My head pops out. And now I'm behind him where I can hit. I can start to choke. I can work for back mount. Okay? So that's the follow up. It's, I'm, I'm emphasizing that less for today, just to show you where we want to lead it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to it another day. But off of this, once I got my leg back, here, boom, I'm trapping, I'm bringing him down, snapping him down with this front headlock. I'm feeding this, 
<laughs> my hand, and I'm circling behind. I'm getting here. I can also then grab this wrist, hold him. I can hit elbow. He's more up. So I'm locked. He gets up. And I can follow up from here, arm lock. Okay. So we're trying to, what we're doing is, we're connecting the parts. You notice what we did there? We connected offensive wrestling to counter wrestling, to back position, to rolling, to, to finishing, and then guard. So uh, that's where we're headed with this, is to get to where as, as the situation changes and evolves, you already, you already got the next set of tools ready. You can do that and it'll just stab you in the guts. Yeah. <laughs>